So often we talk about the news, we analyze everything to do with cruising here, but today our video is going to be a little bit different. Very important things that we need to talk over together. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips and today is Saturday. It is March 23rd of 2024 and I've got two sad items of news to tell you about and then we're going to talk about some things. So first of all, Holland America has had to make the sad announcement and I mentioned this last night in our live that um, the ship was docked, the New Amsterdam was docked there at Half Moon Key, and they were doing work in, it sounds like, the engine area room of the ship. And as a result of a catastrophic event there, uh, two crew members passed away. And it, they didn't say exactly what happened, but it is indeed catastrophic when two crew members pass away. And so, of course, Holland America sends the condolences, and I am sure that they are helping the families of those crew members. But I want you to know that I think it's very important that we, as a Let's Go family, send our love and our prayers, however it is that you send good vibes and that in your life, that you send that to their families and the crew of Holland America. This is really hard for the whole cruising community to have something like this happen. And my heart is truly broken. Um, that's a really hard thing to have happen and imagine how their families feel. The other thing that I wanted, which is a little bit more even close to home, one of our Let's Go family members posted that she and her husband were having the pleasure of celebrating their 36th wedding anniversary, and he passed away very unexpectedly right on the spot there. And um, I think that it's so important that we also send our love and our prayers and our good vibes, like I said, however you do that in your life, um, to this dear Let's Go family member. Imagine how hard that is. And um, I can only begin to imagine. I don't know what I would do if something happened to my Gordon. And so I just wanted to share this with you because, like I said, it's so important that we support them the best that we can. But also, it's a lovely dose of perspective that I think that we need and need often here as we talk about things. Gordon and I um, started this because we wanted to have a community to talk about travel and cruising with people that really enjoy doing it. It's a lovely diversion from the hard things that happen in life. Going on a cruise is by no means the most important thing, um, but it's just fun to have things to talk about, and it is important to talk about what's going on. At the same time, most of we, what we talk about, as I said yesterday, is not a deal breaker. And so I think that keeping perspective of what we're doing and what is really important is, is the main thing around here. And so I hope that each one of you will take me up on my request. Each of you put in the comments below why you go on a cruise, what you're looking forward to on your next cruise, your favorite thing about cruising, however it is that you would like to take that. And please put a comment because I think it will really help all of us. I think it will help us to look for things that we have never seen before in cruising. It'll help us to talk about things we enjoy together more. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to tell you some things that Gordon and I really enjoy. Oh, and I also wanted to tell you, um, as I talk about things here on my channel, I want you to keep in mind that, like I said, Gordon and I started Started this so that we would be able to build a community of people that enjoy traveling, going on cruises just as much as we do. Somewhere along the way, um, I started, which I think is very important. We share our experience when we're on our cruise ship. We share some other people's experience, and it's really a good way to kind of measure how things are going, maybe what to expect when you go. But I want you to know that um, I don't work for Princess. They don't have anything to do with my content. I'm just this lady here talking about our experiences and things that I have learned along the way. I am a travel agent, so I know an awful lot about the other side of it. But I'm just sharing our experiences. And what is so important to me about that is I'm not responsible for your experience on board. I go. I hope that you go and you have the most wonderful time. And I think a little bit of me worries. And that is why I share so much detail of how everything is. But you know what? To me, the food on a cruise is not a deal breaker. I'm glad they feed me so that I don't starve along the way. But uh, to me, it's not a deal breaker. I go. I enjoy having dinner. 
Some days it exceeds my expectations. Some days it doesn't meet them. Some days it's right up the middle and that's okay. But to me, it's not a deal breaker. So I just wanted to kind of give you um, kind of a framework to take what I say and to know um, I'm not paid for what I say. Um, I thoroughly enjoy going on cruises, it just turns out the Princess Cruise Line is my husband and I's favorite cruise line to go on this far. So let's start talking about some of the reasons that we cruise. And those of you who have never been on a cruise yet, perk up your ears and I would really like to hear from you as well what you're looking forward to. And even if you don't ever get to go on a cruise, it's okay. We are so happy to have you here with us. Now, um, and the really interesting thing is I've given this a lot of thought is why I go on different cruises can really vary. We've got an upcoming cruise in 10 days on the beautiful Discovery Princess, and it's a group cruise. We're going to go see the eclipse, and truly why we are going on that cruise is to have a fun time and meet all of you. Those are my main goals for this trip. I am so excited to get to meet so many of you in person. We've got an amazing group going, and I really think we're going to have a very fun time together. So that is why we're going on this cruise. Gordon and I have a couple of excursions booked to get off the ship and Cabo. I really want to jump off of a sailboat into the water. That's one of my very favorite things. And then we have also got an, uh, an evening sailboat cruise um, in the evening on that first night that we're there. Other than that, I'm not really sure that we're going to even get off the ship other than that. Um, I Mexico is beautiful. It's not really my um, favorite place to visit. And so we're going to enjoy the ship an awful lot. And like I said, getting to have a fun time with Let's Go family members. That's our main thing. Now, when we go on a cruise that's not a group cruise, um, we love to go to see new places and places that we know we love. Very much a cruise is a way to see the world and to see it in a wonderful way. We both love being on the water. We love the ocean and everything that goes with that. Feeling the wind in your hair, um, seeing the ocean so beautiful, the sunrises, the sunsets, everything that goes with that. We love that. And so that is why we choose to cruise to get to so many places. Another reason that we go is to meet people. We love people and we love to meet all of you. And um, even people not in our Let's Go family. We really enjoy meeting people and experiencing new things in new places. I feel like it makes me a better person. Um, I'm a lot more tolerant and I think I'm better overall for the people that we meet and the things that we experience along the way. The other thing that's really special is Gordon and I get to spend time together that we don't take time to spend um, usually when we're at home. We came home early from our trip a couple of days here and we have spent a lot more time together. It's kind of been a time for us to recoup and get rested it up. But as a general rule, our time together is when we get to go on a ship together and have such a nice time. So um, a few things that I want you to think about when you think about booking your next cruise is think about what's really important to you. Think about the experience that you want to have and then make sure that you are booking your cruise on the best cruise line that lines up with what your goals are. And in order to do that, um, you need a good travel agent, or if you don't want to have a travel agent, which I, of course I'm a travel agent. I think it's a good thing to have a travel agent. I had a travel agent before I was a travel agent. And so it's really important uh, to make sure that you are doing what you expect to be doing, experiencing what you are looking for. I think that on some different ships you can find several different things, but I think that there are definitely experiences that go with different cruise lines. So make sure you do that so that you will have the best time that you can have. Another thing that I think is so important is to definitely go with expectations. But along the way, don't let your expectations get in the way of having a wonderful time. If you go for dinner and it's not the best dinner that you've ever had or everything that you were hoping for, um, it's okay. And I don't mean that it's not okay to be disappointed and not to have expectations. But we either get to choose whether or not we're going to be upset about something or if we're going to move on and be happy. So when you're on your vacation, move along and be happy because you'll have a better vacation. And I know this from personal experience. Another thing that I want you to think of is try new things. And I don't mean try new things um, like the person, like I had used the example one time, um, it would be really funny of me if I were going to Alaska to book an excursion that was all kayaking somewhere all on my own because you know what, I don't kayak. I don't even want to kayak. So that would be a kind of funny thing for me to try as something new. 
But when, you, but when you think of going on a cruise, um, whether it's talking to new people when you don't usually talk to new people, or if it's going to see a place that you have never been before and instead of staying on the ship, get off the ship and go see it a little bit, look for something new because along the way it will spark your love of travel and how much you enjoy other people. And we are creatures of, um, we, we are social people. And I know we have introverts and we have extroverts, but I think that along the way we are all richer when we take the opportunity to visit with each other and, um, and learn a little bit more about each other. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from you in the comments, the things that you enjoy most about cruising, and some things to really help you keep perspective. Um, going back to what has happened on Holland America with those dear crew members, to our Let's Go family member losing her husband so sad suddenly. Those are the things that are deal breakers in life. And so we truly have the luxury to talk about everything else like it really matters. But in the end, it is so important to remember why we're going, to go when we can go, and to have the best time when we're on that vacation. So I really look forward to reading all of your comments below. Thank you all for sticking with me. It is such an honor to be here with you every day. And I will see you here again on Monday, and I will be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.